Hi guys, welcome back. My name is Alanka and uh, I just enjoy talking about the Lord. I have no intro and we'll just get started in today's teaching. So today I want to talk about um, how to hear the Lord's voice. I've got my notes right here and that's what I'll be looking at while I look down. Um, and so I just want to begin by just clarifying that you have the ability to hear your creator's voice you have the ability to hear the lord's voice as a christian and that is a gift of our salvation um, we get to talk to the lord our savior um, we get to talk to the creator of this universe and so you know often we always find it hard to hear god's voice like i know i used to find it hard to hear god's voice and it's like it's not that god is not speaking to me it's just it was me who was not listening it was me who was not taking the time to listen and part of that was i didn't know how to discern god's voice i didn't know how to listen because you've got two voices going on in your mind you've got the devil's voice and you've got the lord's voice it's a matter of like do i know how to discern which one is god's voice and which one is not well um john 3 5 um and you know god is talking about um so when you read john 3 5 like said, let's actually read john 3 5 if you want to look at it yourself to just check what i'm talking about here we go it's john 10 14 i was way off john 10 4 says i am the shepherd who cares for the sheep and i know my sheep just as the father knows me and my sheep knows just knows me just as i know the father i give my life for the sheep this jesus talking about how like like him and the sheep like the connection between him and the sheep um and you know with jesus we had an in contact face-to-face -face connection and through him we had a connection to god as well um and so he's talking about how like you know the sheep hears him he is the shepherd to the sheep he didn't say the sheep could hear him maybe could or would know he said the sheep hears him so that means we have the ability to hear the lord we have the ability to hear our heavenly shepherd and so um you know if you follow jesus you have the ability to hear you have the gift you have the power and the portal and whatever word describes you have the power to hear the lord's voice and so you know i know this does not align with what you might think or your experience um, but Jesus is not wrong because after all we do have the ability to hear God's voice but it's a matter of like how should I hear God's voice um, and so let's go into why we cannot hear God's voice in the first place and then we'll talk about how step by step so the first one is that it's our minds our minds because it's here is where we hear God's voice God speaks to us first through our minds personally and then you know he speaks to us through other things like other people and so if your mind is, is filled with all sorts of garbage like secular music uh, and lustful thoughts and destruction every like everything on the bad category there's just no way you're going to be able to get to sort out god's voice in your mind if that makes sense but it's like you know if if your mind is filled with goodness then it's easier to fill your mind it's easier to discern which one is god's voice and so um when when it comes to hearing god's voice it begins with just emptying your mind really just emptying your mind and filling it with things from above because the bible says you know you have to fill your mind with things from above and so the minute you start emptying your mind you're beginning to you know make space for god's voice to dwell in your mind um and you know by emptying your mind this starts with your music it starts with your tiktok for you page it starts with the people that you hang out around the conversations you have with people the movies you expose your mind to everything all adds up and everything has an effect and so when i talked about how god speaks to us through our minds you know it takes faith and patience too as well when god speaks to us through our minds when you know how to discern god's voice um and it's like you cannot expect also you cannot expect um when i said the word faith you cannot expect god to talk to you and then you not believing what god says like i don't know that does not add up like okay you know god talks to me 
but I'm hearing God's voice, but I just don't believe in what God is saying. Then it's like, I don't know. I, I just don't know how to describe it, but you have to have faith in what you hear from the Lord because it's God that's talking to you. So whatever God says, it is right, you know? Um, and so then how does God's voice sound like? Because we just talked about how, you know, we cannot hear God's voice because we just have, there's so much going on in our mind. And so there's just no room to hear God's voice. So now let's talk about um, what does God's voice sound like? And so um, let's sort of look at Psalm 46.10. It says, be still and know that I am God. So when it comes to hearing God's voice, God is like, okay, you don't have to be rushing nothing. Like my voice is not like a thunderstorm or something. You don't have to be rushing to hear my voice. You don't have to do anything to hear my voice. It just has to be still and know that I am God and I am speaking to you. Um, because God is a gentle God and is a God of love. And so... You know, when it comes to hearing his voice, it's not going to be as movie perceived. When you look at movies, they always perceive as God's voice is like this big, like loud man, thunderstorms, all dramatic effects. And that's not how God's voice is. God's voice is a gentle whisper. God's voice is so gentle. Um, when you look at the story of Elijah, um, and when Elijah was waiting to hear God's voice, he couldn't hear him in the wind, in the earthquakes, and in the storm and the fire. No, but he just, God's voice was a gentle whisper. That's it, gentle whisper. God's voice is not thunderstorms like how movies perceived and all of that. It's just a gentle whisper. So if everything is loud in here, there is no way you're gonna hear that gentle whisper. You know, it's like all the all the messed up TikToks are playing in here, all the secular, the Cardi B is playing in here, Offset is playing. There's just no way you're going to hear God, you know, speaking gently and slowly and, I don't know, elegantly, <laughs> you know. There is no way you're going to hear that voice. So you have to empty this mind of yours and make sure it's filled with goodness, it's filled with good so that you can be able to discern okay god is gently speaking to me like my mind is all set like i have space and it's a good environment where god's voice can dwell you know it's a think about like a hmm think about a good hotel versus a bad hotel let me see where i'm going with this so like okay your mind is the hotel god god's voice is kind of like the special like guest to the hotel and it's like if the hotel is really messed up and bad it's like then there it's not a good place for you know god to dwell in it's not a good place for god to stay in but if it's a nice hotel or whatever it's a good place for god to dwell in like god can peacefully lay in there and feel safe i don't know where i was going with that but yeah you know what i'm trying to say but make sure your your mind is is, is empty it's it's filled with good things so God can dwell in an, a good environment in your mind so therefore nothing is loud so you can hear God's voice okay how do I hear God's voice like what what, what am I what do I do like in, in in terms of like action wise because you there's things there's steps um and hearing God's voice is not that easy it, it, it should it's not um it seems like it's not that easy but God never intended for it to be difficult we are supposed to hear god's voice because we have a relationship with god and communication and a relationship is what brings it is what makes it successful and so if there's no communication in this relationship then it's not a relationship so our god talks to us and we talk we talk to him through prayer and so um let's just let me just ask you um who are you listening to let's first look at that who are we listening to in our minds um and there are three people you might be listening to in your mind there's yourself there's the devil and then there's god and the way you can discern that it's yourself it's just your usual thoughts it'll be things that you usually think of that's yourself because you know what you always think of you know 
And then Satan. Satan will always condemn. He'll always give you doubt. He'll always just make you think of the worst. And you know, Satan's purpose always is to steal, is to destruct, is to just to destroy, not build anything. Kill and destroy. And his thoughts are always negative. His thoughts are just like absurd. You know, They're, they don't seem right. They're a little sus, <laughs> you know? Um, and you know, they're vicious, accusing, all of that is from the devil when you hear things like that. So it's like when you, okay, so when you're in a situation where it's like, okay, you're in an argument with like a friend, right? And then, you know, a lot of things are going on through your mind because you're trying to make decisions on what to do next. And that's why it's so important when it's time to, when you adapt the mindset of like speak, um, listen before you speak. So like you think before you speak. And so at that moment where you're in an argument with a friend, you're like, okay, um, like I'm hearing stuff, you know, um, but one voice tells me, you know what, yell at this friend. And one voice tells me, wait you can just forgive and just go your way and it's like you you already know like now that we're talking about it you know like the yell at your friend is definitely accusing it's definitely destructive um from the devil the one that's telling you oh forgive this person it's from god because god's thoughts are good god gives us good thoughts and so you know when god speaks it aligns up with the bible yeah it lines up with the bible so whenever thoughts whatever thoughts you have that do not align with the bible they're not from god god is not going to tell you yell at this person god is not going to tell you steal all those thoughts are not from god they're from the devil and you know he is loving he is wise he's a healer inspirational convicting without condemning the devil condemns god convicts without condemning that's the difference and so now step by step how do i hear god's voice so we're getting in the presence of the lord and now we're hearing god's voice that's where we are now so you know as uh, we read psalm right there it said you know be still and know that i'm god so when this quiet in my environment make sure your mind is empty um, and you know, you're ready to hear God's voice, you know, and so Welcome the Holy Spirit in that moment um, because you're just in this you want to hear God's voice You're in the, this holy presence Welcome the Holy Spirit in this presence and just fix your eyes on Jesus because I know personally if I close my eyes There's a lot of things that I'm thinking, right? So I just when I close my eyes I just tend to just want to think of the I want to think of Jesus when I close my eyes like even just picture his name and just put your eyes towards his name because there's so much going on in my mind right now you know ask, ask the holy spirit like holy spirit please dwell in my mind and just surround this place because i want to be in the presence of the lord next listen 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 to the gentle whispers of the lord god um speak to me i want to hear your voice listen to the gentle whispers of the lord and write it down journal memorize wherever you think god is telling you and this can always happen in just situations the difficult situations that you're in like with a friend like yell or not so it's like you just want just want to be calm and be like god uh, holy spirit i invite you just here because i'm in a heated situation and i really need some guidance like which one should i do you just focus on jesus and be like god i just need you to speak to me because i don't know what to do god is going to speak to you because if you ask God to speak to you, he's going to speak to you, you know. Yeah, and that is how you can discern the Lord's voice. Um, I did talk a lot and I really hope you enjoyed and, um, and learned how to discern God's voice. And I highly encourage you to try it. Um, and yeah, and let me know how it goes. But have a blessed day and um, the Lord loves you and God bless you.